Look at that fucking meatloaf. Look Marsh. at that chicken pox cracker stack. Oh. Those are clearly units of spam. Oh. That's all I hit. That's all I can say. <laughs> I got nothing. What? Toddy, you so crazy. Is, what is that in the background? Uh, cooking mama olive oil. What's in the green shaker? Oh, that's weed. Oh, <laughs> mama. Wait, are you are, are you are you sure it's cooking oil in the, the new bottle mama game? Not? Weed farmer, uh, okay. homegrown. <laughs> you weed fuck the egg. Simulator. You have invalidated your egg license. <laughs> Eggs are hard, all right. Permission to egg denied. <laughs> God, there's a lot of steps in this. <laughs> yeah, there are. <laughs> the Wii Cooking Mama has a lot of steps for everything. But yeah. this one I can just do by just shaking the Wiimote like crazy. <laughs> Even in menus. You just, you just sit on your ass in the recliner. Just, I don't have a recliner. Me. What do you think I am? A millionaire? Come on. Lean as far back as you can. Just... Ugh, onions. No, just a thousand it's there. Just a bunch of garbage bags full of styrofoam. That last one's more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't fully unpacked from the time Pack I moved last. <laughs> he just sits Which in a box full of packing peanuts. That's the couch. Oh, he's turned a whole bunch of boxes upside down and it's unpacking, right? <laughs> yeah, basically. Here's something neat. All your collectibles can be turned into a chair. Uh, My stacks vaguely resemble cubes, yes. What are you doing with them? <laughs> I'm, I'm caramelizing onions, motherfucker. What was the glove doing in the bottom left corner of the screen? It was just stroking that finished icon all over the place. Yeah, because that's the button I need to hit when it's done. Oh. <laughs> it's just... That's all it is when you gotta cook that stuff. It's a jerkin' point, jerkin' point. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Going hog wild on that. You did it oh, again! Oh no! <laughs> it's back, and oh this time God, that, it's out for revenge. Look at that texture. <laughs> That's brownie. right, it's the ghost from Beyond Two Souls! <laughs> no. Whoa! <laughs> Okay. I just want to throw this out right now. I totally intend oh on being what Beyond Two Souls. It is so fucking bad. <laughs> That's good. Oh, man. It's the blue knob. Okay. Okay. Just, just. Wonderful. Oh, wow. It doesn't matter. There's no order. It, it's nothing. In a world where egg does not exist, does Cooking Mama See, just... See, I, 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 I wonder what this game is like, though, die. for you, someone who knows how to cook You mix your wet ingredients, and you mix your dry ingredients, and then you mix them together. Next? I know, uh, I would. When you just want to do it. Yeah, you would. Remember to, See, fondle, oh. to fondle the meat. Oh. All these steps don't make sense to me, because meatloaf sounds like the giving up of cooking. I meatloaf, put... this, this is actually the best meatloaf I ever made because I didn't. That looks like I didn't groping. use the McCormick seasoning packet this time. I went with the Alton Brown recipe and adapted it for my needs. <laughs> yeah. You put things inside of meat. You put it in a tub yeah, and it yeah. got hot. Yes. <laughs> That's the general idea. Yes. I will teach everyone how to cook egg loaf. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really understand this part. <laughs> this next part is impossible. I was not prepared for this. Behold. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, That's... check this out, right? It's like, turn the yeah. knob to set the temperature, well, and then this, I do it's that. Like, it's, it's like you're And then, oh no! Mine. You <laughs> did it! You seem to overcook it so much that Cooking Mama, <laughs> while looking over your shoulder's eyes, decided to say fuck it and self-immolated. <laughs> awesome! Oh yeah, look at that delicious meatloaf. Did it jiggle like that? 
Mm, maybe. <laughs> you know you've made a good Currently. meatloaf if you flick it and it wiggles for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> the meat should be fungy, spongy, yet firm. <laughs> it should be amorphous. If you touch it with your hand, it will fall in. Now is my favorite part, is where we get to put it on the plate. <laughs> Relative to the size of that plate, that is a lot of fucking meatloaf. <laughs> yes. P put a single olive God, and a flag. God, I claim even this a flag. Meatloaf. I claim this meatloaf in the name of America. <laughs> and I can put I can put this garnish inside the meat and some flan inside the meat. Why is there a flan on this dish? <laughs> I don't know. And a single tomato. Oh no, three tomatoes. Buried inside the meat. See, it is the amorphous <laughs> meatloaf. It will consume all. We'll grow to the size of the kitchen and kill everybody. Are I have you a question. feeding a giant? What if my foodstuffs cannot flip through one another? Then you probably don't live in a video game. Uh -oh. You should consume them before they learn how to. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Look at that meatloaf. Doesn't that look good? Tuck right in with that weird ass fucking fork. If I found this in my it's kitchen, just... I would probably throw it away and wonder how long it's been there. It's just, it's, it's, you look it's back just at it, it's still the same color. That's all it is. Oh, why? It's like McDonald's, it doesn't age. <laughs> Meat meatloaf, <laughs> as seen in France. Yeah, meatloaf is French, apparently. Okay. This was just okay. It's gone already. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Whoops. You will need uh, about one and a fourth pound of ground beef, breadcrumbs, garlic, oil. No, 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 no. Potatoes. You throw it into the dumpster. You come back to the fridge. It's there again. Onion, shallot, whole bunch of spices. You know. <laughs> also Chinese man. Wow. Hmm. So that's meatloaf with Cooking Mama. I like this song. <laughs> it's a good song. This video has a special guest. All Did right. you know that the backing track from this song is sampled from a song in the 1930s? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. It is. Okay, <clears throat> so we're starting with baked potato. Baked potato is possibly the easiest thing you can make. <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> but first you must exact your vengeance upon it. And See, baked potatoes cook at the same temperature as the meatloaf I'm making, so... 400 degrees Fahrenheit, preheat the oven, poke them full of holes. Yeah, because then you have a steamed potato, and that's different, and also, they're yeah, they're going to explode. And then, take some oil and some salt, and you coat the outside with it, so the skins get all crispy and tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Kosher salt if you have it, regular salt's fine. It'll make it more crispy. Also, I think it tastes better, but that's just me. Oh. You gonna wrap these suckers in foil, or you just gonna chuck them in as is? Directly so on the on the oven explode. rack. Hmm. Oh wait, no. When you do them in the foil, they're technically jacket potatoes. Yes. Mm. Ooh. If I'm not cooking anything else in the oven, I'll put a layer of foil on Just the rack underneath so that the bottom of the oven doesn't get oil and, you know, make a huge fucking mess. Why kosher? I cover them in uh, aluminum foil and then oh. I microwave them. Okay, you're probably going to start a fire. <laughs> I've never used kosher salt. I don't think I've ever had anything with it. It really needs to be you just put the potato on the oven rack bare and through some pure, like, defiance of physics, the entire thing oh, slices so... through the grating. <laughs> <laughs> so now we chop the shallot. You got a bunch of... getting mad at my knife skills. Oh yeah, that, that's how my dad does it. Scream. He, he'll wrap them in My knife skills are really only this bad because I'm trying to work around a tripod. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're not they're not great to begin with, but they're they're better. Okay. I swear. They're better than average, sir. They're complaining too much. <laughs> this is interesting, you. 
I bought a tripod that was on clearance at Radio Shack. What more do you want from me? Here's how you circumvent having bad uh, cutting practices. <laughs> Use some okay, no. <laughs> I fence with Hanzo Steel. <laughs> Just, like, throw the shallot into the air and it comes back finely diced into a powder. Yeah. Then I turn mm. into a true weirdo on the internet, and then start a forest fire. Because you're just not you're not gonna s set up your <laughs> toss in half a cup of breadcrumbs to be like a cooking show, bread or a yeah, cooking class Maybe. where you've got the countertop and <laughs> that, then I forgot I did that. That's angled so we can all see everything. Italian season, so what? They put cheese in with it? No, it's like it's like rosemary and shit. Oh, okay. Hey, I have this exact same thing in my fridge. Oh, the uh, the big ass fingers. Costco crushed garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I was out of crushed garlic, and I went to Costco, and I'm like three ninety nine. I think I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Please recommend their recipes for the next episode involving as much crushed garlic as possible. Uh, don't don't. No, this worry, crushed though, garlic has to last me at least two years. Those <laughs> awful cheap katana. It's been budgeted for. That you could buy at like and uh, add some black pepper. Chinese markets. You know, whatever. Chili powder. <laughs> That's half a teaspoon of no one teaspoon of chili powder. Dread crumbs. Throw it all in there. Get it real hot. Slice into it so that the steam will scold eyeballs. Speaking of which, add some cayenne. <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> I love spicy food, what can I say? And you can probably see the crushed red pepper in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have crushed red pepper. Yeah. I put it in most anything. Crushed red pepper is hella good. I snorted mm. it off my desk. <laughs> okay, add a bunch of salt. Because salt is good. <laughs> That's what you can do for your chairman cargo food that, instead of that, eating a yellow uh, pepper. Just do like cayenne straight off uh, the freaking kitchen counter. Oh no! <laughs> just up it goes. <laughs> just snort it with a rolled up hundred dollar bill <laughs> and then start screaming. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> How do you? <laughs> <laughs> just having the word egg display on the screen for that long <laughs> that one's for you oh, Eldad <laughs> oh yeah I don't think I've ever actually made meatloaf you before know spicy foods will That's kill weird. me I've observed this is meatloaf. the best meatloaf I've ever made actually so now we add the meat actually I think what I've only mean? ever eaten meatloaf like maybe once in my entire life and that was when I was a kid Massage the beef. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that in a minute, actually. Gently caress it. Make it feel welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the oh, yeah. RSVP. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Just the next instruction that appears oh, on the screen. Apply rough love. Oh, at this movie theater <laughs> I used to work at, there were these kids doing... Okay, I'm changing the soundtrack from Yola seasoning. Tango to <laughs> Careless Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat, stood there and watched them and told them, you know, if any of you fall over and stop breathing, I am not calling 911, so I hope you brought a phone. So wait, I missed it. How many are you cooking for again? Two? Three? Two, because uh, one of my roommates is trying to lose weight, and I, I'll i admit it, I don't cook <laughs> even remotely healthy, so he has opted to uh, buy his own food. Good meat. <laughs> you have done so, well, Meator. So I'm down. I'm down to cooking for two people now. Remember to discipline your meatloaf, or else it will come out poorly. <laughs> yeah. And then, you probably think I'm going to go for ketchup for the glaze? Uh-uh. No way. No way. Uh, meatloaf. Here's what we're doing. Barbecue sauce. <gasps> yeah. You're a madman. Yeah, sweet baby Ray's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
What I will do sometimes is uh, I will mix the barbecue sauce with either honey or soy sauce <laughs> if I'm feeling like it should be sweeter or like Asian themed. It works out really well with the soy sauce. You could try using that Indonesian soy sauce, the really sticky one, the thick one. I can't remember what it's called. Um, Ooh, I know what you're talking about. Ketchup, I can't remember yeah, what it's called. Yeah, ketchup manis. Any kind it. of porn groove that would yes. work too. Um, a little bit. My screen door is open, as you can tell. Cooking Mama has a problem with wind. <laughs> 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 Cooking Mama is prepared in a vacuum. Is anybody is anybody even gonna remember DJV's stream by the time this video goes up? <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so uh, what, we. What has happened here? Something. Oh, uh, the time lapse happened for forty five minutes. Oh. You check back Ooh. in another minute, and the potatoes are sliced at the bottom. <laughs> No, actually, I went to get a plate to put them on. Okay, okay, I, I am a ketchup fiend of the highest order, though, but... Yeah, that's a great... Your meatloaf's from a leak. Barbecue sauce. Please tell me what voltage I need to run to get a magic oven. Um, 4,000. Huh. And two. Prepare. Now we meatloaf. slice up the meat... It was so good. So was it windy? Um, are you willing to night? drive from Wyoming to Central California? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah. You're always talking about Wyoming. I don't know. Just put the food back in the magic <laughs> oven and then type in the coordinates for where he lives. And then tell him to wait at his oven and it will be there. Come on, take a ride on the magic school bus. <laughs> I need your oven's IP. <laughs> ha, I hacked wow, your you lunchables. Have a, you have a magic <laughs> oven. That is amazing. I can't even I can't even attempt to no, tolerate no, lunchables you just have anymore. A magic oven. I am oh. no longer six. Is that the cheese and crackers thing? Yeah. Okay. With the like just, the rubbery you just, bologna. You just, you, you just you just put the meatloaf in there and you just go meatloaf. Oh, it's done. Yeah, that's the only, that's the last time I had Lunchables too. Is like I was really hammered, and I still lived in New Jersey, so we went inside a quick check and got Lunchables. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Couldn't you like just get jerky? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's um, very particular. I don't know. <laughs> I was too drunk to remember. Oh, I don't know. God, the idea amazing. of a tiny meal is too appealing. Oh. Miko, you should have me over for dinner mm. sometime. It was real good. I'll post up the recipe in the thread because it's delicious. Yes, I will. It's also adapted from a good eats recipe.